here live after the Panasonic press conference here during CES 2017. And I'm here with Tom Jebhart, and we are talking about the best in automotive technology. And from the looks of it, it seems like Panasonic has a lot going on in this department. Uh, how does all this stuff changing the driver experience, Tom? Yeah, it's really, it, it's changing everything. So the whole idea of a connected car changes the dynamic of everything. Now, now the things that you couldn't even imagine doing in the vehicle, it's unlimited. So the whole idea of connectivity in the vehicle, technology coming in the vehicle, uh, really changes really everything you can do. So now with all of this technology being packed inside of something that has kind of been a staple in our lives for so long, it's, it's changing so fast. And obviously safety is going to be a concern here. But so with all these cars out on the road, how are they going to be communicating with each other? And, and how is this going to affect our, our daily lives? Yeah, it's a great question. You know, in the end of the day, it's a transportation device, right? And, and it has to be safe getting you from point to point, right? So really, all of us are looking at what, what that really means. And when you get connected, that means you're not only connected to the cloud, that means you can be connected to everything else. You can connect car to car. So we have V2X technology, which is vehicle to whatever technology. You can talk to the infrastructure, you can talk to other cars, you can talk car in front of you, talk to car way in front of you. So with that coupled with some artificial intelligence, the car is gonna get increasingly intelligent and take away some of the risk of human error. So when you're talking about taking away the risk of human error, uh, a lot of this stuff we're talking about, the, the car is doing things autonomously. And, and for those that are unfamiliar with it, can you explain a little bit about what autonomous means? Yeah, let's take it back a little bit. I mean, the most basic function, cruise control. Basically, it's autonomous, it's just cruising, right? So now we have automatic braking, so we've kind of evolved from cruise control to automotive, auto, automatic braking, and then we're eventually gonna to get to the fact where the car will actually drive itself. But it'll come in an evolution over a period of time where we'll add more and more features. So the technology, the connectivity, and all of that allows the vehicle to really be more of a robot than a, than a, uh, than a uh, car. Now that, that is absolutely insane to me, especially when you're talking about a car becoming a robot. Now, you, you really think that this is, this is going to be the future of driving, of trans, transportation in cities and everything like that, just straight, fully autonomous vehicles? Absolutely. Yeah, the, the, the desire, the market demand, the attributes that you get, so you get a safer drive. So you, you actually put the ability to have computerized control of that vehicle get safer, uh, more efficient, you know traffic better, so you got less traffic con uh, congestion, you've got a safer drive, you've got all of the aspects that people want, and then you're in the vehicle and it's, it's almost like sitting in an airplane, right? And, and an airplane is, is not much different, right? There's autopilot in an airplane, so it's not foreign to everybody, it's just you don't think of it in your daily life in a car. So now give us a, a couple examples here of how uh, Panasonic is implementing this technology today. So. What we're really known for is our entertainment systems, right? And it, you know, it's a Panasonic from in-home entertainment to other venues, and we take some of that technology now, bring it into the vehicle. And we originally started as what was a car radio. Today is a multimedia connected system inside that vehicle, and that's really what we do really effectively and have a leading market share in. And that really becomes then the hub and the brain for all that connectivity that's going to happen. You're talking about the infotainment system. Yeah, the infotainment system, system specifically. You know, in, it's really that combination of infotainment information and, and entertainment coupled together for the driver's safety and for the enjoyment of the drive. Yeah, I mean, all of this stuff is it, it's just, there's so much happening at once, and I think that we're kind of at uh, the forefront of automotive technology where we're seeing the biggest changes in cars and tech than we have in, in years, right? Would you agree with that? Oh, yeah. Uh, if, you, if you just listen to the CEOs of the auto companies, all of them almost universally have said, that in the next five years there's going to be more innovation in the vehicle than there's been in the last 50. So think of that. <laughs> next five years, more innovation than there's been in the last 50. So I, and that in and of itself just changes everything. So how far out exactly do you think we are from just fully autonomous vehicles roaming around the streets by themselves? And, and how is Panasonic contributing to that right now? So fully autonomous, hands off the wheel, Difficult to say, but a lot of people are targeting 2025 as being a, a realistic target, and some companies, especially in fleets and some things where you can control a little better, might even be a little earlier than that. So it, it's that close to reality. And we have connected technology in the vehicle today that we're enhancing. We're doing some things with local and state governments and the infrastructure and some other things to make sure that that conductivity of the interconnection is there. So 
Uh, we're getting ready with the technology, but there is still some enhancements to make sure that you've got 100% of the use cases covered. Yeah, I mean, of course, there's a lot of regulations involved here with implementing uh, any kind of autonomous features into vehicles. So you're going to run into roadblocks when it comes to you know working with like like you're saying like the governments and and, and things like that. And do you think that's that's one of the bigger holdups in? In, the, in, in this whole autonomous thing, or is it more of a, the technology aspect that we're trying to catch up to? So I, there, there's still some technology challenges, there's no question. And once we get done with the technology challenges, then the government's gonna have to make some decisions. And, and exactly what and how they do that, um, we're not exactly sure. So, so we're getting ready for it. There, there is some level of expectation that they'll actually regulate V2X or V2V as a, a uh, mandated regulation. So it forces the car makers to put it in the car so you'll have that in intrinsically safe system built in the new vehicles. Um, that hasn't been passed yet, but there's a lot of talk about it. I don't know what the new administration thinks on that, but uh, certainly there is some of that that's uh, really eminent. Yeah, it, it's just, uh, like I said, it's, it's moving so fast and we have all of this technology inside of, of something that we use every single day. So it's, it's, it's changing our lives every day and it's pretty cool that Panasonic is, is a huge part in that. And can you tell us about just some of the companies that you're spreading this technology to right now? So we're dealing with virtually all of the automakers, right? Have great relationships with, with most of them and done business for many years. We've been in the auto business, believe it or not, for 60 years. So, and, and our business originally started with Toyota 60 years ago. So we've been doing business with Toyota for 60 years and virtually all of the other automakers. So yeah, exciting times and a, and a lot, of go, lot going on. Yeah, this is, this is all really great stuff. And there's also a ton of stuff to check out during CES at the Panasonic booth involving all these technologies that you guys are implementing, right? Absolutely. Absolutely, and we haven't even talked yet about the whole electrification, electric vehicles. So, you know, while all this is happening on conductivity and autonomous, we're going to do uh, put a major dent in the combustion engine, and and cars are going to go electric. And there's huge announcements being made by the car makers on how big their fleet of electric vehicles will be. And Panasonic's currently the leader in uh, in EV batteries, and we continue to be plan to continue to stay there. In fact, we just opened our Gigafactory with uh, Tesla um, uh, this morning. Yeah, so you guys are working on uh, on basically the actual technology that will power these electric vehicles and keep them going, essentially. Absolutely. So the energy system, the actual battery that's going to power the car is where we're really focusing our time. Okay, so that yeah, you, you guys are very focused on battery technology, and I, I saw that they were showing those thin, flexible ones as well. And so basically, on any scale, you guys are, are working on that kind of thing. Absolutely. We think that's definitely the future. So. If you have conductivity and you have autonomy, the next piece is you might as well have it electric and then you know, you've really got the whole, whole thing covered. Well, that is all amazing stuff. All of this uh, car technology that we're talking about here and we'll be checking out later this week as well. And also, if you guys want to go find out some of the stuff that we're working on here, Panasonic is going to be posting videos all week long that you can check out. And you can follow along using the hashtag PanasonicCES and go ahead and follow them on the social channels. But it was really great sitting down with you and having this conversation, Tom. Really appreciate the time. Enjoyed it, great. All right, so go ahead and check out everything. Like I said, follow the hashtag Panasonic CES. Video is going up all week and you can find out more on all of the social network feeds for Panasonic. So thanks again for sticking around, everybody. We really appreciate it and we will catch you guys later.